Now, the Duke of Sussex, yes, him, is taking part in a live-streamed Q&A with members of the public promoting the book. Um, it's called an intimate event on discussing living with loss and personal healing. Well, joining the discussion is Dr Gabor Maté. He's a trauma expert. And tickets to the event are being sold at £17, which does include the copy of The Prince's Book, which is quite a good price, to be honest with you. It's retailing for... 15 30 I think. Oh, is it 30 Half price, 15 Oh, yeah. so you get a half price, your half price book and a free podcast. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's being hosted at 5pm this evening. It is not being recorded for later viewing, so it's a one-time only thing. Yeah. Exactly. Well, joining us in the studio now to discuss this is the host of the Daily Express's Royal Roundup podcast, Pandora Forsyth. Good, Good morning to you, morning. Pandora. How are Good you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? Yes, we're very well, thank you. We're very well. pleased to see you as well. Oh. Um, so tell us about this very intimate event. So, a couple things there. £17, but a £2 booking fee, so that's 10%. So it's around 20 quid, right. actually. Um, a little, little bit of details mm. uh, there. Now, this is two months after the publication date. We've kind of got all of the, all of the basic information from the book and some. So what will they actually be, be discussing? Because this is organised by Penguin, the publisher. Because Harry did say a lot in the book already. So what else is there to talk about? Well, there's obviously the trauma um, that he's experienced over the years. Um, and this is a trauma doctor. He specialises in trauma. So he'll obviously be talking about, you know, his family history uh, with trauma. Um, but to a lot of that's extent... going to be a lot of that's going to be around Diana, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. And he has spoken about Diana, obviously, very fondly. And so has his brother, actually, over the years. Uh, he does uh, reference Megan in in all of these uh, speeches, so I have no doubt that he'll obviously be talking about his wife and perhaps a couple of her experiences that she's had in, in recent years, perhaps with trauma, um, and obviously talking about his affection towards her. So expect that to come up too. Mm. Affection is... towards her? Come on, Pandora. Oh, that, well, I mean, that's, that's royal that's... speak, isn't it? Yes. Talking about his love. I was going to say. That love for her, there we go. I was gonna, cause you what big it, old romantic. Well, <laughs> you know, what, whatever else you think, he loves her. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, he is Besotted. obviously very much in love with her. Mm. Um, and they've obviously both come from um, backgrounds which perhaps some would perceive to be quite traumatic. So I think they've bonded over their trauma. And obviously he's now, you know, created a family with Megan and he loves them all very, very much. That's obvious to see. Mm. Yeah. I was reading a little bit earlier on about this event and the, the questions to Prince Harry have been uh, picked by, by the publishers. They, mm. It is going to be uh. controlled in a way. Yeah, the, the kind is. of questions that are going to be put to him. Yeah. What do you think Prince Harry will want from this? Will he want to give more allegations, more detail? Or do you think this will be just digging into it? I mean, the choice of, of who he's speaking to is a trauma expert, as you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Will he just be digging deeper into what he's already said and, and perhaps sharing more? I think also he'll want to be able to share his battles perhaps with mental health and mm. giving perhaps some advice for, for viewers and listeners who are tuning into this event. I mean, you say it's not going to be recorded, but any journalist will obviously be wanting to hear what he's going to say. So let's say you can't make the event this evening and it's a Saturday night. Not, not a lot of people will perhaps want to go. I'm sure we'll hear in all the headlines tomorrow about this event. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll get the details. I mean, I t mm. I, what I find a little bit troubling, and I can understand is that on the healing side of things, Yeah, I can understand that they are people who want to talk about, you know, the... the the nature of healing and in, yes. in a bit more of a new agey sort of way, perhaps. Mm. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing no. at all. What I would question is whether he's healed at all. You know, he, he, yeah. he strikes, you know, he's coming across as someone who actually hasn't healed and is, and is lashing out a mm. fair bit, actually. And mm. so it's a bit, I also find it a little bit rich that he's talking about all these healing processes that he's supposedly gone through and... Well, he evidently thinks that he has healed, hasn't he? Mm. And he's surrounded himself with people who obviously think that he's healed too. But, I mean, as we all know as humans, healing does take time. And he was in, uh, you know, an institution uh, which is very strictly controlled about what you can and what you can't say, um, which 
over the years has got better. You know, we're seeing more of a modern monarchy is what people say now. Um, and his brother has also uh, spoken about mental health, etc. But now that he doesn't have those constrictions in place, which is why now he can talk more about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is what kind of gives him uh, the financial independence. But that argument, I'm not sure, is really going to go down well anymore. He got millions of pounds off this book. Mm. He got millions of pounds off a Spotify deal and all of the other uh, deals that he's got going on. So, But this will be part of a bigger deal with Penguin. Mm. And, you know, he has indicated that maybe that's not the last book we'll hear from him. So he doesn't want to give his whole game away because he still has to, you know, make money over the years. But how but much more money is there to be made? It's, but it's like, what about... We were talking earlier on about Partygate fatigue. Mm, right, that people yeah. sort of feel a bit... Yeah. Have we not got Harry fatigue? No. I think some people do have uh, royal fatigue, oh. actually. Um, and obviously this is a coronation year, so yes. only last week we were speaking about will he be seen at the coronation, and then obviously we had the Frogmore Cottage story what's this your, week. What's your gut feeling on the coronation now? Do you think he will go or not? Personal prediction, yeah. I think he will go. I think it will very much be a flying visit. I don't think the children will be coming across... I'm not sure about Meghan, if I'm totally honest. Um, maybe, but I think there will be very much precautions, etc., in place. And the Frogmore Cottage story, um, which blew up this week about the fact that, you know, it, that's coming to an end, they're being evicted, um, as it were. They've still got access to that until the end of summer. So the security argument, which Prince Harry has had going on with the Home Office, he'll still be able to use that. Um, cottage within the Windsor grounds, which mm. means that he will have protection. royal estate protection. So that security argument for when he comes across here for staying there actually won't be relevant for the coronation whilst he stays there. Yeah. And do you think, as has been indicated, that, mm. that Charles has turfed him out because he crossed a red line talking about Camilla in the book, or is it just a case of it's a property that's hardly being used, we need to just rearrange things? I think there does need to be further digging into how many estates the royal family does have. <laughs> I mean, it is, uh, it is uh, vast. Um, but aside from that, there is a thing about timing. All of these things are very much planned. Um, Charles would have known um, and, and spoken to some advisers around him what the next steps were from the memoir. And I think there's only so much you can push and prod before <coughs> there is some kind of repercussions from that. There is obviously um, going to be speculation about the timing of that. And I yeah. do think that was a little bit of a, OK, if you want to slam the royal family then perhaps, you know, about time that you can't, you can't use, yeah. use these <coughs> residences anymore. Go and live somewhere else. Um, lovely Pandora, really good to see you. Thank you very you much too. indeed. Thanks.